Hello everyone, welcome back to We Collect Wrestling. So this here is part three for these, uh, whatever you want to call them, the WWF Superstars card game. Sorry, it's been, what, almost a year since the first one. So yeah, it's been a long time since even the second one. But here it is, the part three. I was reminded by somebody in one of my comments saying, hey, I just watched your video. These are rare. I want to see you know if you have Jake the Snake and Ted DiBiase so that's what I did I went ahead and went over to the storage aka the headquarters got this right here and let's go ahead and check them out huh still got the same rubber band from back when I was a kid let's see we got Ted DiBiase with the takedown Another takedown. Stuffing some money in somebody's mouth. Nice. Looks like Jake the Snake right there getting headlock. Big boss man getting stomped on. Oh, what's this? He's, uh... Holding up some money. Nice. Giving the big boss man a bear hug. Punching down on somebody. What else we got? Seen that one. Oh, here we go. The famous Ted DiBiase pile driver. Looks like he put someone to sleep in the sleeper hold. That was another move that he was famous for. That might be all of them, but we will go through just to double check. There's that good old referee card. Seeing if there's any rare gems or anything hiding in here. This hasn't been messed with since 19, what, 92 maybe at the latest. But yeah, it's all there, all complete. Let's go ahead and check out Jake the Snake. I'm surprised the rubber band's still good after all these years. Keep the rubber band. Alright, he's shaking. Oh no, he's not shaking hands. I thought he was shaking hands. Doesn't that look like he was shaking his hand? <laughs> Alright. Uh, what else we got for Jakey here? Jake the Snake giving someone the boot. He's got the snake over somebody. Next we have him doing a clothesline. Not sure, I think he's just messing with the guy's arm, not sure, cranking it, you know? Here's him with that pose with the snake, Damien. Mr. Perfect's in this one, R.I.P. So, if Jake the Snake comes down here, which he will in the probably sometime this year, when he comes down here to Colorado, I'm hoping to get his autograph. It won't be on the card thing. I was looking at the art, and I don't want to mess the art up with his autograph. You know, I love him, but I'd rather put it on a magazine or something, because uh, as you know, we got all those magazines, so gotta probably put him on a magazine. We were announced that John Moxley's gonna be down here for the Colorado Spring Comic Con, so I'm excited about that. Looks like we're down to no more poses that are brand new from the takedowns, but anyways, yeah, John Moxley's gonna be down here for the weekend in August. I'm gonna get his AEW figure signed. I wanna also get a Dean Ambrose item signed, but you know. I don't know how that would be going in there asking for a Dean Ambrose autograph. But, you know, that's just the way it is. So, thank you very much for tuning in to this long-awaited part three of the WWF Superstars card game. Probably can't use WWF anymore because of trademarks, so we'll call it World Wrestling Federation or World Wrestling Entertainment. But, thank you again for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed the last part of the superstar series if i get any other type of card games that i can show off i'll show them off otherwise i hope you have a wonderful day